first uh, person, obviously, that I would like to introduce, uh, so everybody understands who you're you're kind of aiming for today, is our defending champion from uh, Texas, and that's uh, Ron White. Ron, can you please? Uh, When I first read about it, I heard these memory guys were memorizing these numbers and these cards, and I was like, there's no way, you know? There's no way I can memorize a deck of cards in under two minutes. And uh, I did. Basically, to remember anything, you need a place to store it. You need a place to put the information. So let's say now I wanted to memorize five pictures that represented the presidents of the United States. And then once I have my five spots selected, these become places where I want to store whatever I want to remember. I would take the first president, which is Washington, I would turn it into a picture, and I would see a washing machine interacting with the Bank of America sign. Maybe see the, the clothes flying out and the soap going everywhere, but a washing machine on Bank of America. And then right here on number two, which is the American Eagle sign, I would visualize a dam, and the dam's breaking, and it's filling up with water, and it's, it's flooding this area because a dam for Adams. And then number three, I would pretend like that basketball player had a chef's hat on. Third president was Jefferson or Jefferson. And then I would visualize NyQuil falling all over the stock market over there. The fourth president was Madison, and so I would put medicine over there. And Andy, I might put a man in a robot. First of all, I have a lot of respect for my competitors. Nelson Dallas is a guy who was a surprise last year. Then breaks one of my records, the nerve of the guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so he's a guy who, who could walk away with it this year. In terms of training, I do about three to four hours a day. For about a year, I've been doing that. I'll do, you know, numbers, cards, names and faces, poetry. Going to this competition, I just have to kind of uh, rely on my training and hope to get those scores. Okay, mental athletes, if you are ready, you may begin. this glossary in my head that I know that Steve equals stove, Lisa equals the Mona Lisa, uh, Brian equals a brain. So then when I meet somebody and his name's Brian and he's got really thick eyebrows, I see a brain coming out of his eyebrows. His name is Brian. Papers. Oh, over. Pencils and pens down, please. You know, you talk to like an Olympic swimmer or something, like they're intense in the water, but out of the water, they may be like the slowest, kind of chill back. You know, they're not always an athlete, right? So a lot of people expect me to always have an awesome memory, which is not necessarily the case. I can, I can kind of turn it on, you know, when I need it. A lot of people think that, okay, this is not for me, you know, I have a horrible memory. But that's the thing, is like, I didn't have a good memory. I just had, you know, a little desire to, to do something. Five minutes remaining. The hard part about numbers is that a number is really abstract. But what mental athletes do is we'll learn kind of a way to translate those into pictures. So like 32, three stands for C, two is B. So CB, I thought of Charlie Brown. Yes, I did. Good job, man. New USA record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Kaylee. How old are you? Six. And what are we about to do? Memorize the president. And how are you going to do that? By furniture. Furniture. Okay, here we go. You know, if, if I ask someone, can you imagine opening the front door and walking me through your house? And if you can do that, you can become a memory champion. Jefferson. There you go. Jefferson, four. Madison. Madison, five. They have a deck of cards and you pick it up and you run through it as fast as you can and then you pick up a second deck of cards and reassemble that one to match the first deck without looking at it. There are 49 and 50. Let me get it. One minute and 33? No, three seconds. No, one minute and zero, three seconds. Oh. One minute and three seconds? Yes. Oh my goodness. 103 is our new U.S. second. Almost broke the minute mark. One minute and three seconds. Three diamonds it is. 
Six of spades. Six of spades. Two of hearts. Okay. Jack of spades. Four of hearts. A lot of competitors in this sport, they became kind of obsessed with improving even more. Eight of diamonds. Four of hearts. You kind of harness this power in your brain and you're like... Two cards. Oh, I would just like to be the first one to congratulate the new USA champion, Nelson Dunn. This is pretty crazy, like how far can I push it?